Our next guest using AI to try to disrupt the financial sector. Its new platform magnifies one of the first chat-based AI assistants designed to help investors providing portfolio advice and an insight to investment questions. Joining us this morning here at Post 9 is Vinay Nair, the founder and CEO of Tiffin, which manages Magnify. Welcome. Good to have you. Thank you. Uh, talk about how it works and how it's different than if I were to ask Chat GPT a question on my own. Absolutely. Great to be here. I think it's fascinating, exciting times we are in. AI is just pervasive. And it's, uh, we started doing this for years before it became part of our culture. In fact, uh, I was just telling Sarah, we announced Magnify last year at Scott's Fast Money Show. What it really does is it's personalized, relevant, regulated. So when you take something like GPT to the world of financial services and investing, you need some subject matter expertise. You need some data to make it personalized. So what do you hold as an example? And you can connect all your brokerages into Magnify. It oversees your positions at Robinhood, E-Trade, and tells you what this decision means to your risk, return, wealth outcomes. When do we start getting uh, metrics that we can uh, evaluate against some benchmarks? If you mean in terms of returns, performance, you know, this is magnifies for the sensible investor. It's not for someone who's trying to buy a meme stock or bet on something because it's entertaining or engaging. So the type of recommendations we bring here are things such as, did you realize you have concentrated risk across these three accounts you have? Did you realize that the fees here are much higher than what you could get for a similar position elsewhere? So these are recommendations and insights towards longer term wealth outcomes. We think of this as a financial concierge for the sensible investor. Everybody's putting out press releases saying that their business model is tied to AI. What's going to separate you, which can really generate uh, revenues and have a full business model that actually is tied to AI. How do we separate those winners and losers? Absolutely. You know, the dot AI is the dot com of these days where everyone adds that to their name. Now, the fact is AI is going to be pervasive. I think uh, there were some estimates by McKinsey, Price, Water, Cooper House, 10 to 20 trillion in global economy. We think those numbers are going to be two to three times of that because the services sector is just getting affected by AI because of the language skills that have come on. So we've been doing this for four years. In some ways, we are the open AI of finance. It's an application of AI in the financial services sector. This is going to affect efficiency. This is going to affect the quality of advice and decisions. It's also going to affect how personalized things are going to become. Do you work with any of the big banks or are you just serving retail? We, we are focused on the non-institutional side. Of course, we do work with the big banks. Some of our investors include J.P. Morgan, Franklin Templeton, Morningstar, Hamilton Lane, Motive. They've been great partners, and uh, we think we are helping the industry innovate faster. Because you've been able to raise, you've been able to raise money through a difficult period, right, for funding continually at higher valuations. What's the latest on that, and, and what's your ultimate exit plan? Well, Tiffin is an AI platform for wealth. We create, manage portfolio companies that will change wealth outcomes. We sold one of our companies to JP Morgan in 2020. 55 IP was the name of that company. And our goal is to be a mini Berkshire Hathaway of FinTech, continue to create, build companies. And to the extent AI will change the world, Look, it's growing at 40% annualized from 150 billion market to more than trillion in seven years. So capital will follow that. But it doesn't do buy, sell, hold, right? You don't do which stock should I buy. You're not trying to replace those analysts, are you? No, we're not. We find that some of our users are early investors who could come and say, how do I get started? And some of our users are experienced investors who could say, compare this ticker with that ticker for me. And they can execute on the platform right away because we do have the ability to execute. Wow, we're toes are in the water now. We're definitely going to watch it closely. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks, Pleasure. Tonight.